there's so many things you probably don't know about owning a leopard gecko and one of those things you cannot be caught using reptile carpet so i'm going to show you guys how to master taking care of a leopard gecko and let's get right into it We're going to start off with the substrate and as you can see i'm actually using reptile carpet which you don't want to do so we're going to change that <clears throat> okay so first off we're going to need some play sand and we'll also have some topsoil and then if you want you can also get this excavator clay now i will leave a sand and soil calculator down in the description so you guys know exactly how much you need once you got all three of these you got to go mix them so let's go do that And before you mix these, you got to put them into some buckets. Let's first open them and let's get it. Now, once you've finished putting all the stuff in, then you got to grab something to mix with. I would recommend like a wooden spoon or something, but I'm going to use whatever this is. And you kind of just mix. It might take a while, but... What I found was that the mixing thing wasn't working very well, so feel free to use your hands. If you're using a mostly soil substrate, I would recommend watering it first and then uh, let it dry. No matter what, you should leave it to dry overnight just to make sure that uh, there's no water left in it because your leopard gecko can get a sickness from humidity. So while we wait for the substrate to dry out, let me show you guys how to feed your leopard gecko. So probably the most important part of feeding is variety. And we're going to start off with probably the most common type of leopard gecko food, and that is crickets. So with crickets, the older your leopard gecko gets, the more you should feed uh, your leopard gecko, and the bigger the crickets should be. And keep in mind, if you want to have the crickets have any nutritional value, you need to gut load them, which means you have to give them stuff like this. You can find this like pre-made stuff. You can make stuff yourself. And you also need cricket, cricket, cricket quencher. So in the cricket enclosure, you want to have some egg cartons and maybe some like toilet paper rolls. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, put them into like a Dixie cup. And then once you put them inside the Dixie cup, uh, you just want to put some calcium powder or really whatever powder you want, judging from your uh, leopard gecko's needs. I uh, use calcium. You kind of just pour it in put a paper towel on top of the crickets and start shaking it up so you can like marinate all of them and I'll show you guys how to do that. Now as you can see I've gotten six crickets inside of this Dixie cup right here and it took about 10 seconds. You just take one of those toilet paper rolls or one of the egg cartons and simply just shake it in there. Now if you're afraid of the crickets or you feel bad just realize first of all this is a circle of life and second of all they cannot hurt you. Now take your selected powder and kind of just pour it on top of them like that. And once you've done that, and just make sure it's all over all the crickets, just like that. And then you want to uh, put your uh, paper towel on top of it and kind of just like shake lightly so you don't like hurt them, kinda like that. And now let's go feed them. So now you gotta take the marinated crickets, put them right by your lizard, like that. And now go hunt them down. Hopefully he's hungry. Yeah, he's not hungry. Another super common leopard gecko food is mealworms. Now, to keep mealworms, you pretty much just get these at any pet store. Um, and dice up some, not dice up, slice up some carrots or cucumbers, really any vegetable, and put them into a fridge that's about 40 to 50 degrees. And then to feed your leopard gecko, you can put them into bowls, which I will go over later, and put some calcium on them, and then you got it. Now that we're done with food, I just finished the substrate, so let's talk about what you need inside the tank. For a juvenile, I would use a 20 gallon tank, but for an adult, I would use 30 to 40 gallons and have your substrate go three to six inches up. So one of the most important parts of having a leopard gecko is replicating what it's like in their natural habitat. So let's talk about the light. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a basking lamp. Now you really need one of these because this uh, replicates the heat from the sun. Uh, so you really need this. And then if you want, and I would definitely recommend it, take one of these two. It, it, uh, also, it also replicates the sun and it, it's a UV lamp and it basically just creates light. So if you 
don't have one of those, then you're gonna need vitamin C powder to make sure that you get some vitamin C. So because leopard geckos get super easily stressed, I would put part of a cardboard box behind the tank just so they don't see the reflection on all sides of the tank. And actually, I'm gonna put some pictures of the place that they live um, on the cardboard box just to make it look like that place even more. Now that we got these incredibly realistic images outside of his tank, let's talk about what you need inside of your leopard gecko's tank. First, you're gonna need two different hides. One will be on the hot side of the tank and one will be on the cold side of the tank. If you want, you can have some water bowls. Then I have a little food bowl, which I put the worms in. Never put crickets in here because they'll just escape. So just put the crickets in the enclosure. There's no need to put them in the bowl. And then really put whatever decorations you want. I put some rocks. I might put like a branch. Now this part is also pretty important. Um, have a little calcium dish. Literally just take a milk bottle cap or a Gatorade bottle cap, put some calcium in it, and you've pretty much just got everything that you need inside the tank. The last thing that you might want is a thermometer. These can be pretty helpful. Um, they have humidity and a thermometer on them. Make sure it's always in the orange area for both. Uh, I would definitely recommend a digital one though, because those are always way more accurate. Now the final thing that you're gonna need is some motivation. Just be willing to improve something in your reptile's life every single day, every single week, every single month. And that's pretty much it guys. So without further ado, thank you so much.